what they are telling you about nicotine. Nicotine, a word that's often met with raised eyebrows and a cautious tone. For decades, it has been synonymous with addiction and the harmful effects of smoking. But what if I told you that the story isn't as straightforward as it seems? What if recent research is shedding new light on this infamous compound? In this video, we embark on a journey to explore the surprising complexities of nicotine. We'll delve into the latest studies that challenge the conventional wisdom surrounding its reputation. Brace yourselves for a paradigm shift, because the narrative around nicotine is undergoing transformation. From its historical use in indigenous cultures to its controversial presence in modern society, nicotine has woven itself into the fabric of our lives. But separating fact from fiction requires a deeper understanding. Our mission? To present a balanced view backed by emerging scientific insights. So whether you're a skeptic, a concerned individual, or just someone curious about the untold story of nicotine, join us as we navigate the maze of research, societal perceptions, and the evolving landscape of nicotine use. Let us start by asking the question, what is nicotine? Nicotine is a naturally occurring alkaloid, which is an organic compound. This organic compound is found in flowering plants of the nightshade family. The most notable of these plants, you guessed it, the tobacco plant. In the body, nicotine has its effects by binding to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors of the brain. These receptors are part of the cholinergic system of the body and are responsible for controlling muscle contractions, immune system regulation to reduce inflammation, and also stimulates the production of neurotransmitters. This action is what makes nicotine addictive as it leads to a rush of dopamine in the brain. This provides pleasure to the user and keeps them coming back for more. Despite its addictive nature, nicotine has a host of benefits that you probably don't know about. Let's cover the top seven. Number one, nicotine can enhance your cognition. Studies show that nicotine temporarily improves working memory and visual attention. It has also shown effects on prospective memory. This is the type of memory you use when you remember something in the future. For example, remembering to take food out of the oven at a certain time. The theory is that nicotine allows you to reassign your attention quickly and improves your cognitive control. Number two, nicotine may help you lose weight. It has this effect by triggering your metabolism to burn certain types of fat cell through a process called thermogenesis. To break this down, nicotine causes the body to produce heat, which leads to burn calories. This still needs more research, but this pathway could be used to treat obesity in the future. Number three, short-term memory. Repeat studies have shown that nicotine improves short-term memory. Nicotine might modulate certain neural networks related to memory and attention, potentially leading to improved memory retention and retrieval. Some research also suggests that nicotine can enhance neural plasticity. This is the brain's ability to adapt and evolve after new experiences. Theoretically, this could lead to improved memory formation and improved memory retention. Number four, can nicotine help with ADHD? One study showed that nicotine was as effective in symptom control for patients with ADHD as Ritalin. This goes back to nicotine improving cognitive function. This organic compound can help the brain stay on task and make it less likely for the individual to become distracted. Number five, nicotine improves reaction time. Multiple studies have shown that nicotine can improve reaction times when performing tasks previously unknown to the subject. Another study showed that nicotine can improve the performance of the user on an IQ-related task. Nicotine also has stimulant properties and decreases the amount of time needed to make a decision. Number six, nicotine can help normalize brain function in those with schizophrenia. A genetic mutation has been discovered that has been associated with the cognitive issues faced by those with schizophrenia. A study has shown that nicotine can help normalize brain function in those affected by this terrible disease. More research is still needed, but possible treatment of this disease with nicotine is quite promising. Number seven, nicotine has been shown to be neuroprotective. Current literature shows evidence that nicotine reduces oxidative stress on the brain as well as neuroinflammation. This is likely the most promising finding for nicotine. In the future, this naturally occurring compound could be used to treat diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and multiple sclerosis. While it is well documented that smoking is bad for our health and causes cancer, it is just as obvious that nicotine deserves a second look in its isolated form. More research must be done, but nicotine can no longer be ignored for its promise in curing neurodegenerative diseases. I hope that you find this video interesting, informative, and will leave today having learned something new. If you enjoyed what you watched today, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on those notifications. We will see you next time here on Zen Health.